What if I told you that in the middle of one of the hottest places on Earth, a country is building one of the most advanced airport terminals the world has ever seen? A $4.3 billion mega project, rising from the desert, designed not just to handle millions of passengers, but to change the way we think about air travel. While most airports struggle with delays, outdated tech, and unbearable heat, Kuwait is doing something radical. They're building a terminal so futuristic, it has no expansion joints in its roof. A structure so smart, it filters sunlight through 8,000 skylights and cools itself using a thermal envelope that adapts to 50 degrees Celsius summers. This isn't just another airport upgrade. It's a bold move to turn Kuwait into a global transit hub, competing with giants like Dubai and Doha. But here's the real kicker. This terminal doesn't just care about speed and luxury. It's fighting climate change, too. With over 81,000 solar panels and a design that cuts energy use by 27%, it might just be the greenest terminal in the region. So, how exactly is this engineering marvel being built? What hidden technologies are powering it from the ground up? And how will this single building reshape the future of aviation in the Gulf? Stick around, because what you're about to see isn't just an airport, it's the blueprint for the airports of tomorrow. Let's rewind to where it all began. Kuwait International Airport was once a small gateway, handling just 5 million passengers a year. But by 2019, that number had tripled. The airport was overcrowded, long lines, delays, frustrated travelers. It was clear Kuwait needed more than a quick fix. It needed a bold, future-ready solution. That's when Terminal 2 was born. Launched in May 2017, this project is a massive investment. $4.3 billion. But it's not just about spending big. It's about building smart. Terminal 2 covers 0.75 square kilometers. That's nearly 140 football fields. The design is unique. A three-wing layout shaped like a trefoil leaf. Each wing stretches over a kilometer. The central hall? A soaring 25 meters high. Open, grand, and elegant. But size isn't what makes it special. It's how it's built. For the first time ever in a project this large, the roof has no expansion joints. That's a huge engineering risk. Why? Because Kuwait's heat is brutal. Temperatures hit over 50 degrees Celsius in summer. Materials expand. Buildings crack. But here? Advanced 3D modeling helped engineers design a roof that could take the heat without splitting. And to fight that heat, Terminal 2 uses smart materials. The outer shell blocks solar radiation. Deep overhangs shade the entrance. Inside, insulation traps cool air. It's like a thermal armor. Save in energy while keeping travelers comfortable. And there's more. The building lets in natural light. Over 8,000 skylights are built into the roof. But these aren't just holes in the ceiling. They're smartly placed to reduce glare and spread soft daylight across the terminal. Less need for artificial lighting. Lower electricity bills. A calm, natural feel for passengers. Then comes the underground hero. A three-kilometer-long utility tunnel. Hidden below the surface, it carries cooling systems, electricity, and more, keeping everything running like clockwork. Now, let's talk about sustainability. Terminal 2 is aiming for LEED Gold certification. That's one of the highest global standards for green buildings. Over 81,000 solar panels will power nearly 10% of the terminal's energy needs. The terminal will also use 45% less water, 
thanks to recycling systems and water-saving fixtures. This is not just a building. It's an eco-smart machine. And all this leads us to something even more exciting. How smart technology is being used to make this airport not just modern, but intelligent. Let's dive into that next. Now, let's talk smart tech. Terminal 2 isn't just big, it's intelligent. The entire building is designed to think, respond, and adapt. From the moment you step inside, the experience feels different. No long queues, no confusion. Why? Because the airport uses facial recognition. Cameras scan your face, match it with your passport, and guide you through security, fast and secure. Baggage handling? Fully automated. Once you check in your bag, it moves through a high-speed underground system. Every bag is tracked in real time. No more lost luggage nightmares. The terminal is also packed with sensors. These sensors monitor temperature, lighting, and even air quality. If a room gets too hot, the cooling adjusts automatically. If sunlight increases, window shades respond. It's like the building is alive. And behind all this is a smart control center, a digital brain. It keeps an eye on everything, passenger flow, energy use, water supply, even waste. If there's a problem, the system spots it and fixes it before it becomes serious. Smart parking is also part of the plan. Drivers get real-time updates on parking availability. No more circling around. Just park and go. But Kuwait's vision goes beyond this terminal. Terminal 2 is part of a bigger goal. To make Kuwait a regional hub. A new metro system will connect the airport to the city. A dedicated runway is being added for smoother takeoffs and landings. Cargo facilities are expanding too. And let's not forget the workforce. This isn't just a high-tech building, it's a source of jobs. Thousands of workers, engineers, designers, and tech experts are part of this transformation. So when will it all be ready? The main structure is already complete. Testing and systems integration are underway. Full operations are expected to begin by 2025. Once open, Terminal 2 will handle over 25 million passengers every year. Later, it could expand to 50 million. That's a five-fold increase from the old terminal. But more than numbers, this is a message. Kuwait is not standing still. It's moving forward with bold ideas, green technology, and smart design. This isn't just an airport, it's a statement. And now, you know the story behind it.